journey that Ethan Hunt and his team go through. Uh, it is it is an odyssey and and definitely uh, inspired and reflective of that story. It's an epic tale. Um, it's a personal tale, and there's in incredibly uh, huge stakes, uh, emotional stakes, I think, for, for the characters. Halo jump is a high altitude, low opening. Uh, that's what it means, that it's a jump where you're jumping from a very, very high altitude and you open very low. So this sequence basically takes place over Paris, we're at a very high altitude, above 35,000 feet, and we're opening just above the Grand Palais. And we're doing that so that the aircraft that we're in looks like a, a commercial airliner and they don't know that we're military and we're jumping into the Grand Palais, and that's, that's why the Halo jump. Really you're good, perfect. nice job. Everything, everything was perfect. All you got to do is once maintain you're there, that just maintain right it. Up. I went to Airbus and I trained at their facility in Dallas, Texas. They were really wonderful and helped me, you know, throughout. I, I wanted to fly the Airbus helicopter, where they call it the Squirrel. The thing is, when I'm flying a helicopter, I'm not just flying the helicopter. Just the same thing when I'm driving a car or a motorcycle. I'm also, a lot of times, when, I, when I'm there with the cameras, I'm setting a frame. So there are times that I'm flying a helicopter and I'm setting a frame for Henry when I'm behind his other helicopter, plus there's uh, an aerial helicopter. So, plus I'm acting as I'm going and flying the helicopter and flying it low, flying it fast, flying it close, close to the mountains and the grounds. Um, but obviously, there was a lot of resistance actually to me doing this particular stunt. And number one, it's never been done before uh, in the way that we wanted to do it. Uh, the extreme nature of the flying. And of course, everyone wants to make sure that it's going to be safe, and um, so I made sure, and one of the things that I do is I have these guys, you know, I, I try to surround myself with the best people, the best group, and have them challenge me and see how, how good am I? Am I good enough to be able to do this? So a lot of stuff that I wanted to do in terms of flying low under trees, uh, I was able to get the, the aircraft into a spin and do those spins at, at very low G. Uh, and low airspeed and be able to pull out at a very low level. Uh, wing overs, um, these kinds of things that that are extreme with helicopter and the things that we were doing were extreme, very close proximity. And of course, look, I want them to trust me and I want to be able to trust them when you're flying with someone and you're that close. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go low over the water. You'll be behind us. I'm behind like this. Yep. Okay. Chasing, chasing, chasing. You Keep tell us over. to go here are the falls. Yep. Okay. You call it. We'll go over the falls. Boom. I go over the falls to the right and you chase me down. Yep. Okay. It was the most extraordinary time in New Zealand. New Zealand is breathtakingly beautiful. And to be able to travel through New Zealand with a helicopter and the places that we're able to go, uh, most people aren't allowed really to go in those areas. And the helicopter that I had, as I said, the Squirrel has, it's a cool looking helicopter. It has tremendous amount of power. Of course, we're in the mountains, it's high altitude. So I needed every bit of that power. Plus I have cameras hanging off of, of the helicopter. And um, so it was, it was extreme. It was like like everything in mission. It was 
Every day was filled with adrenaline. Uh, I know that everyone sighed a massive sigh of relief when we finished there. And uh, I think we're all very proud of what, of what we accomplished.